One of the distinctive features of the flying machine rocket are all the rivets around the perimeter of the fins. Now I'm going to show you how to put those on in this video. Putting the rivets on the fins is purely decorative. That's all it's for. Um, you can leave them off if you don't want to do all the work because it's going to take you several hours to put all those rivet dots on. Um, and I like and I encourage you to do the fins separately before you glue them onto the body tube of the rocket. That way you can smooth the surface of the fins like these here. Um, I've already primed and smoothed this um, so that when you put on the patterns, it gives you a little raised edge. Just that little subtle edge is really going to stand out on your rocket. And those are here on the pattern sheets. And there are four fins, um, the vertical tail, plus four canards. So there's a lot of pre-work you have to do. And these have to be cut out prior to gluing them onto the rocket. Um, and I like to use a, um, a ruler and a hobby knife. Um, it's a lot like cutting out a fin. Um, do the straight edges first so you can separate things. And always start with a fresh blade in your hobby knife. Um, you have to do the inside and the outside. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Uh, I'm going to actually start on the inside. So you can see I'm uh, just running around the perimeter. This is going to take a little bit of time. And when I do the straight edges, I'll use a, a ruler. And I need to stop right there, so that's going to... comes out. One down, whole bunch more to go. So I'll go ahead and cut these out and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, I've cut out all the perimeter pieces of paper. Um, and our next step is to glue these onto the fin. Um, you can use wood glue for this. I'm gonna use super glue. Um, I'll show you the technique with super glue. Um, but wood, and wood glue is actually a little easier. Uh, first, you have to put it, um, you have to line up all the edges so that when you let it go, it will stay in the spot that you want. This is the important part um, because the super glue is going to grab instantly. And if it's not in this perfect spot, um, you're going to have problems. You're going to have little, little um, where it doesn't line up. Um, now, I'm using super glue here, so I'm wearing safety glasses, and these are actually cheater glasses because I'm getting old and <laughs> can't see well. Um, so I just put it on there and just kind of just let it wick around. I uh, see here I missed. Right here, I'm off. It's still good. It still hasn't attached perfect yet. that again. Still not perfect. 
perfect, but it's going to have to do. Now you can see it smudged the, uh, the little dots. That's okay, because when you paint over that, you're not going to see that anyway. Uh, basically what's going on is the super glue is dissolving the toner, because these were uh, laser copied, um, and so that they're not perfect, but you can still see where the rivet's supposed to go, and they're just there as a guideline anyway. Once it, once it grabs, I can move it around a little bit more now. And I'm just, I'm using the, uh, I'm using an applicator tip on this to kind of, um, like a little paintbrush to kind of move the uh, glue around. And I went over the edge a little bit, so that's where I need to take a paper towel and wipe it off. I wouldn't go over the edge, it would be a lot nicer. But that's okay. You see, I'm kind of tilting it up. I'm kind of letting gravity work for me. So if I get a, a blob of glue, it will just roll downhill right along where I want it to go anyway. smudged it good that time. And I'm a little bit off on this edge too. Basically what's going on is that the super glue is wicking through the paper and attaching to the wood underneath. Alright, so even though it's smudged, it's attached pretty good right now. Um, this is where I started, and because it had already um, had super glue in it, it couldn't wick through, so I have to go on the edge, just a little bit under the edge, and then press it down. Okay, so my next step is to do that to all the fins. Uh, and it's going to take a while. Um, it helps to have a fan running when you're using super glue because you get all those fumes and it comes in your face and makes your eyes tear up. Um, so I like to have a little fan blowing, uh, fresh air really helps. Uh, so next time we'll show you how to put the ribbon dots on.